in a civilized society such as Canada, we should be okay to say, this is who I am, that's who you are, and, and we each are unique in our own ways of being. Another drag event was interrupted by opposers this Saturday during the Storytime program Reading with Royalty at the Calgary Public Library. There are concerns about how these demonstrations can escalate in the future. We are now calling the police. Oh, no. In this case, people say a pastor was trying to break it up, wearing a body cam and filming the kids. With the police. A video posted on Reddit shows the moment when the protesters were removed, along with the argument with library staff members. Dr. Christopher Wells says these kinds of events have been happening in Alberta for over 10 years without incident, but lately they have seen an increase on protests and hateful demonstrations that could eventually grow into confrontational situations. It's uh, very concerning. Um, the whole idea behind this is to try to uh, silence 2S LGBT communities to perpetuate uh, outdated and harmful uh, stereotypes and to promote uh, discrimination and prejudice. Calgary Mayor Jody Gondek took on Twitter to say she wants stronger bylaws to stop what she sees as a hate speech. In a statement, Calgary Public Library says she is proud to host a diverse range of programs that bring our communities together through a shared love of reading. We regret that the Storytime event for families was disrupted. Both agree that more needs to be done, not only from authorities, but from the community itself. To us LGBTQ people don't just appear as adults. They are children. They know their identities. They're looking for support. Um, they're trying to build community. And um, uh, being able to attend these events is very uh, important. And whether it's for you or not, it's okay. But to quash people because of who they are, we have to be mindful of why there's this uncomfortability and make sure to root that out within our own selves as well. In Calgary, Silvia Naranjo, City News.